Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. This is Teacher Nim. Today, pag-aaralan naman natin kung paano ba tayo nag-aad at nagsusubtract ng decimals. Alright, before we proceed to the addition and subtraction of decimals, ituturo ko muna sa inyo kung ano ba ang place value ng decimals. Nung kayo ay nasa primary grades na pag-aaralan ninyo ang place value ng whole numbers. Alright, so today, pag-aaralan naman natin ang decimal part. Yung nasa left side, nitong kulay orange na to, na, which is the decimal point, yun ay ang whole part. Alright, yun yung pinag-aralan nyo dati, na mga whole numbers, na may place value na ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, and so on. And then, dito naman, sa kanang bahagi ng decimal point, dyan naman yung decimal part. Okay, so nag start tayo dyan sa tenths. Tandaan nyo yan ha, kasi iba nalilito dito, kasi nawala na yung ones. Okay, so nag-start na tayo dito sa tenths, followed by hundreds, and then thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousand, and millions. Right? And so on. Ngayon, maglagay tayo ng mga value para mas lalo ninyong maintindihan. Alright, so mag-start tayo dito sa ginawa kong example. Uh, alamin muna natin kung ano ang place value nitong ating decimal part. Uh, yung, whole, yung whole part nito ay napag-aralan nyo na kung kayo ay nasa primary grades. Alright, so This is the decimal point. Sa left side ng decimal point, dun yung whole part. And then, dun sa right side ng decimal point, dito naman ang decimal part. So, unahin natin, from the decimal point, we have tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions. Alright? So, nadagdagan siya ng THS. Dun sa spelling. Dito naman sa whole part, nag-start tayo sa ones. Tandaan ninyo, pagdating dito sa decimal part, mag-start tayo sa tenths. Okay, now, what is the place value of the underlined number here? Yung number 8. So, tignan nyo lang dito, that is thousands. Alright? How about this one? What is the place value of 2 here. Tenths. What is the place value of 7 here? Millions. What is the place value of 3 here? Hundreds. Ngayon naman ay pag-aralan natin kung paano ba tayo nagbabasa ng decimals. Nung nasa primary grades kayo, pinag-aralan ninyo kung paano magbasa ng whole numbers, right? Subukan nating basahin muna to, yung 63254. Ang basa dyan ay 63,254. Tama? Ngayon, babasahin na natin ng may kasamang decimal numbers. So, paano tayo nagbabasa ng ganyan? Tandaan ninyo na ang decimal point ay binabasa natin as end Subukan nating basahin to. Yung 54 and then yung point at yung 2. Sabi ko kanina, basahin natin yung decimal point as end. We have 54 and 2 tenths. Right? Ulitin natin. 54 and 2 tenths. Binabasa natin pati yung place value ng decimal part. How about this one? You have 54 and 23 hundredths. Litin natin. 54 and 23 hundredths. Kapag nagbabasa tayo ng decimal, basahin muna natin siya as a whole number. Tapos dun sa dulo, uh, babasahin natin ang kanyang place value. Uh, like this one, kanina, di ba? Ito lang, sabi ko, 54 and 2 tenths. And then, ito naman, 54 and 23 hundredths. Now, subukan naman natin to kung paano to babasahin. Itin ko, basahin muna natin 
as a whole number. Tapos, sabihin natin kung ano ang kanyang uh, decimal place value. Simulan natin dito sa whole number. 3,254 and 23,819 hundred thousands. Litin natin. 3,254 and 23,819 Okay, ngayon naman basahin natin ito. 63,254 and 238,197 Again, 63,254 and 238,197 millions. Okay, now let's proceed to addition of decimals. Um, in adding and subtracting decimals, uh, it is just like adding and subtracting whole numbers. Katulad lang nung ginagawa ninyo dati, nung kayo ay nasa primary grades, kung paano kayo tinuruang mag-add. Ganun lang din. Ang pinagkaiba lang nito is that um, we need to line up the numbers according to the decimal point. Okay, say you want to add 426 to 23. O paano ba natin yun ina-add dati? Diba? Uh, as whole numbers, tinatapat lang natin siya dun sa kanyang place value. Tama? So, nag a lang tayo ng ganyan into column. So, 6 plus 3 is 9. 2 plus 2 is 4 and then bring down 4. So, nakakuha tayo ng 449 na sagot from 426 plus 23. Gawin natin itong uh, decimal. Okay? So, nilagyan ko lang ng decimal point yung example ko kanina. Uh, paano na yung gagawin natin kung ganito na yung given? Okay? So, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, uh, you need to line up the numbers according to the decimal point bago kayo mag-add. So, you have 4 and 26 hundredths plus 2 and 3 tenths. Okay? So, kailangan magkatapat ang decimal point. Hindi nyo pwedeng ilagay ito doon at i-move nyo to yung 2 doon sa katapat ng 2. May iba na yung value niya. Okay? So, tandaan niyo kapag tayo ay nag add ng decimal numbers, kailangan naka-align ang ating decimal point. Now, let's proceed to addition. Since ito ay walang uh, number, pwede tayong maglagay dyan ng zero. Yung iba, hindi na naglalagay. Yung iba naman, naglalagay para hindi sila malito. Now, uh, kung paano tayo nag-a-add ng whole numbers, ganun din ang gagawin natin dito. 6 plus 0 is equal to 6. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. And then, put the decimal point here. Kapantay lang niya. Then, 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. Okay? Kaya ang nakuha nating sum or total is 6 and 56 hundredths. Let's have another example. We have 23 and 14 hundredths plus 35 and 288 thousands. So, paano ba natin ulit i-add yan? 23, 23 and 14 hundredths plus 35 and 288,000. Again, sabi ko sa inyo, kapag nag a tayo ng decimals, pagtapatin natin ang kanilang decimal point. Since ito ay walang number na katapat ng 8, lagyan natin ng 0 para hindi kayo malito. Okay? Let's proceed to addition. 0 plus 8 is equal to 8. Next, 4 plus 8 is equal to 12. So, you have to write down here number 2 and carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Then, sulat natin yung decimal point. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 and 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So, the final answer is 58 and 428 thousands. Alright, so ngayon naman ay mag-proceed tayo sa subtraction of decimals. You have this given example, 2 and 89 hundredths 
minus 1 and 76 hundredths. Ulitin natin, uh, katulad lang ng ginawa natin kayo sa addition, itapat lang natin ang kanilang decimal point at mag-proceed na tayo kung paano tayo nagsusubtract ng whole numbers. Okay? So, you have 2 and 89 hundredths minus 1 and 76 hundredths. 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. 8 minus 7 is equal to 1. And then, sulat lang natin yung decimal point. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So, the answer is 1 and 13 hundredths. Another example, 48 and 57 hundredths minus 32 and 263 thousandths. Okay, so yan, sinulat ko na. Tinapat ko yung kanilang decimal point. And then, kung mapapansin ninyo, walang katapat yung 3 doon sa taas. So, you have to write down 0. Okay, and then let's proceed to subtraction of decimals. 0 minus 3 cannot be. Okay, kaya we are going to borrow 1 from 7. Yung 0 magiging 10 at yung 7 ay magiging 6 na lang kasi humiram tayo ng 1. So, yung 0 naging 10. Now, 10 minus 3 is equal to 7 and 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 and then put the decimal point here. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6 and 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. So, the answer is 16 and 307 thousands. Okay, so I hope natulungan ko kayo dito sa pag-aad at pag-subtract ng decimals. Kung natuto, like naman ang video na to and please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell para updated kayo sa lahat ng aking tutorial videos.